Can you touch the top of that antenna right there? Oh, is that my own? Oh, see, it jumped up to 338. Oh, the thing's going crazy. Oh. Do that again? Hello. He's behind you. He's behind you? Yeah, he's right behind you. Behind? Right on your back. The Hotel San Carlos in downtown Phoenix is historic and many say this grand old place is haunted. It opened in 1928, before it was the location of Phoenix's first school. Even before that, runs of an ancient Hohokam village. A little village. cool factoid, the hotel can be briefly seen in Alfred Hitchcock's 1960 film Psycho. It's in the opening shot as the camera pans the then skyline of downtown Phoenix. Over the years, the San Carlos has hosted political leaders and movie stars like Marilyn Monroe, Spencer Tracy. But the most famous guest, or should I say ghost, was 22-year-old Leona Jensen. The story goes that Jensen checked into room 720 and later jumped to her death from the top of the San Carlos. She was supposedly distraught about her abusive boyfriend, who was a bellboy at a nearby hotel. Now, some say she was pregnant and was pushed to her death. The one thing most people agree on when it comes to Leona, her restless spirit is one of many that still call the San Carlos home. Unexplained cases hooked up again with our good friends from the Phoenix, Arizona Paranormal Society to investigate this gem of a hotel in the Valley of the Sun. But even before we pulled out a single piece of equipment, Something or someone was causing a problem with our hotel room door to malfunction. Yeah, it wouldn't lock. No matter what we tried, we even called the front desk for help and were told that has never happened before. So when I told the front desk we moved to another room, the door magically locked on its own. A coincidence? Hmm, not sure. Well, after that door mystery, we headed to the hotel's basement, a hot spot for paranormal activity a place where some believe several children drowned in the old school's well. So we pulled out the Mel meter, which measures changes in the electromagnetic field, possibly a sign of spirits, and placed it on this old, dusty organ. We could tell early on this area was supercharged with paranormal energy. The EMF readings were nothing like the Unexplained Cases team had ever recorded on the Mel meter. You see that it was going up and down a little bit. You got one of all the way to seven. I don't know what something's passing through here. Could you do that again? Oh, look okay, at 56. It jumped to 56. <laughs> Play some organ for us. I'm really curious. I don't really know how an organ works. Be, yeah, what are they? Do they, they pull on those things or something too, right? Yeah. Did you say it was? You said it was recording, right? Yeah. 
temperature is hot. It's 78 degrees over here. Oh, are you here? We got point three. Steady point three. Hello, are you point six point eight? Three point six. Point three. Can you touch the top of that antenna right there? Oh, see, it jumped up to 338. These readings were off the charts. Was it ghosts or intense EMF from pipes, electrical wiring, or something else in the basement? It is noteworthy since the numbers fluctuated and didn't remain consistent in the spot we kept the meter intriguing evidence. In the basement, Mike from Paps tried to connect with the spirit of one of the children who drowned in the nearby old well. This was near the old organ where the mel meter was blowing up with EMF readings. Our camera captured what appeared to be a zooming orb, maybe a spirit. Look closely, you can see it right there. We've slowed it down for you. We don't believe it is a bug or dust because it wasn't consistent with what those appear like on camera. So we pulled out the old structured light sensor or SLS camera, which uses an infrared light projector with a monochrome CMOS sensor that shows everything is dots arranged in 3D formation. Possibly this dancing stick figure is that of a child. Yeah, you had a little friend there for a second. Really? Over on, on my shoulder over here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's behind you. He's behind me? Yeah, he's right behind you. Behind? Right on your back. He's on my back? Yeah. Like a monkey? No, he's kind of... Uh, he's short. Yeah, he's a short little guy, like a kid. Yeah? Yeah, and he's about right up to where your shoulder blades are. Still there, kind of just kind of dancing, like just kind of hanging. It's Maybe kind of weird, I kind of feel something on my shoulder. He's like this. He's moving his shoulders. Is he? Like, yeah. I I feel, feel feel now he's moving his feet. Yeah. I feel something right here. Looks like he's dancing. And he's got his hands hitting that area where you really? extend your arm back and see if he does no backwards. See if he does anything. Lower. Like your lower back. So I don't feel it now. No, he's he well, he's kind of yeah, he's moving down towards moving your feet. Down towards your feet. Stop. Put your leg up. Now he's kicking you in your butt, yeah. actually. Yeah. Oh, no, that's not good. What are you doing? It's like a spider. Yeah, I was just yeah. going to say that. I think I can feel you there. Can you give us your name? It's like he's right on the bucket. Right, kind of like... Like he's inside of it, playing hide and seek? Yeah. Like, where's he at? It looks like he's inside the trash can. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like over here now? Oh, he's gone. No, he's gone. He was with you. He's gone. He's with me. I'll go back. Go back. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to step on you there. <laughs> Push you away. Did he come back and talk to us? Yeah, that was really good for a while. I mean, he, he was all more. the way up. Please come back. I'm sorry that I moved. I 
I actually felt something on my shoulder blade in between the blades. That was right about where like, it was, like, too. Like, so, so yeah, something. his arms were moving. Like, it yeah. looked like he was trying to get your attention. Like, that type of movement. Off the left side of my back, just below, I felt pressure. Down, While this was happening, left, in another left, section of the basement, Angela from PAPS captured EVPs of what sounded like a child or maybe children. Take a listen. Come on, where are you? Come out. Come out, come out. Come out, come out. Come out, come out. Come out, come out. After a busy night in the basement, we headed back to the room on the haunted seventh floor with the hope of seeing oh or hearing from a ghost. Gracie and I pulled out the spirit box and kept the cameras rolling during our session. Now a spirit box is a radio that sweeps through all AM or FM radio frequencies. The concept is that when investigators ask questions, spirits reply with intelligent responses using the white noise. While we weren't staying in Leona's old room of 720, we were pretty darn close. Close enough for her to possibly stop by for a visit. We have two people here with us. Ten. That's what I heard. Did you hear ten? Are, are there ten people here with us? Yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah check or something like that. Are there ten people? What are the names of the ten people here? Same boys. Four. Four? That was four. a very distinct four. Who, who how many that? how many girls are here? Nice. Say nine girls are here? I guess it's not, but I don't know. Tuesday. Tuesday. Today is Tuesday? What day is it today? Oh. Someone oh, it made a little blip. Can you make the... Oh. Is there somebody here with us? Can you make the colors go up on that machine right there? You just did it a second ago. Matt or whoever's here with me, can you make the colors go up on that again? Thank you. Thank you. Can you make it go to thank you. can you make it go up to orange? Oh, thank you. Can you make it go to pink? We appreciate that green there. Oh, thank you. That's great. Thank you for doing that. What is your name? Maybe you could tell us in that machine right there. I know it takes a lot of energy to light that thing up. That's crazy. Seems going crazy, man. Thank you for lighting that up. Can you make it go all the way up to pink? Looks like you got orange, green, yellow, orange, and pink. Can you make it go all the way across? Yeah. Yeah, could you do that for us, please? Can you show us right now? Oh! Is that you? And it went off when you did it. Is it... If... If there's a man here with us, can you light up that machine? I don't know if you're saying right the whole time. If you're a man, can you light that up to where it's green? If you're a woman, can you light it up to yellow? Green for man, yellow for woman. Oh, the woman definitely on that. Leona, if you can see Gracie and I right now, you can see us right now. Can you can you tell us what we look like? People. We look like people. Sis. 
do. Right. What what are you seeing where you are? You see us? You know you know what where we are right now? This place that we're standing and sitting in? You know where we are right now? Leona, if you took your own life, can you light up that machine? If you jump from the roof of this building, can you light up that machine for me? If I'm speaking with Leona right now. Leona, is that, so you're still here with us. So you jump from the top of the building here. Were you upset? Were you upset about your boyfriend? Is, oh, so that you were upset about that. I'm so sorry about that. So you're, if you, so you're still in this hotel, huh? You poor thing, you haven't left yet? Leona, are there other spirits in this hotel besides yourself? Light up that machine if there's more spirits here than, your, than you. Are you the only spirit? Are there children that died here? Are they here with you right now in this hotel? Communicate. Uh, are you communicating with us right now? Yeah, let's try this. I want to put this other device down here. And maybe you can touch it. If you touch this, it'll make the lights go off. Can you touch this thing right here to make the lights go off? Thank you. So that's you. Thank you for touching that. I appreciate it. Can you touch that again? Touch that antenna right there. You can touch both of them if you want. You like the K2 meter. Okay, you like that one. Wow, pegged red. So you like the other one a little bit better. You don't like that other machine. Okay. Leona, is that you that's still here? Thank you for hanging out with us. Do you have a message that you'd like to tell us? Do you have any? Leona, is there something we can tell your family? He was... He said he was something. He was there or he was dead. Was, That's what's online. Like. Was your was your boyfriend there when you died? If your boyfriend was there when he died, can you light up that machine? Something's lighting that thing up. Well oh, that might have been you, huh? That you like you're hitting the bed? Is that you doing it? Why well, I don't know. Okay, are you, are you making this thing make that noise? Did he cheat on you? No. No? What is that? <laughs> Leo, did your boyfriend cheat on you? He did. What an yes. asshole. Did you regret killing yourself? Are you sad that you killed yourself? I'm gonna have to figure out what is that doing. I think that's part of the REM pod. Leona, is that you that's setting off my REM pod? Can you do it again to let me know? Can you make that thing go green again? Uh, I'm sorry, I think I might have missed it. Okay, so you're hitting the green on the K2, thank you, and the yellow. Excellent. This one with the funny thing that's sticking up in the air, can you touch that one? Thank you. That's it. 
Thank you, Leona. This is this is very, we're having a great conversation. We appreciate it. Gracie and I are really enjoying this. You want to keep on getting that music? <laughs> yes. Wow, everything's everything's blowing up. You got everything going crazy here, don't you? S twelve twelve. Oh wow, wow, this thing's blowing up, man. Whoa, this is like going crazy here. Leona, I love it. Keep it going. You can light up these all night if you want to. Hey, let's have some fun. Do you think you can drop the temperature on that one device? Can you make it actually colder in this room? Right now, it looks like it's 72.3 degrees. What is that? Where's that beeping coming from? Is that on the... Oh, is that you again? Are you back? Oh, good. Well, it's 72.3 degrees. Can you make that go down a little bit? Kind of got chaos going on in here. I don't know what's going on. Leona, you're rocking the party, baby. <laughs> You're rocking the party! We're getting, we're getting fucking nuts. It's 2021. Do you want to go out and go dancing tonight? You don't want to go dancing? If you want to go dancing, set that off. Oh, would that be fun? Dancing would be fun, wouldn't it? What kind of, what do you, what, what's your favorite type of dance? Do you like to do the waltz? The cha-cha? What else is it? Oh, you like the cha-cha. You're a little saucy. You're a saucy babe. I like it. That's how I like my women. Leona, you're digging this, aren't you, baby? Me too. I'm having a good time. If it was Leona that Gracie and I connected with, for sure it was one heck of a conversation. After a night at the San Carlos, it was easy to see why some consider this the most haunted hotel in all of Phoenix. Reporting for Unexplained Cases, I'm Darren Dito.